And with that, we move on now to our last panel, uh, or sorry, our last paper. Um, and that paper is being given by Benjamin Monnery and Olivier Rosenberg. And they're talking about um, a natural experiment, so relative performance feedback and parliamentary activities in the French parliament. So over to you guys. Thanks a lot. And thanks for uh, the, in the invitation. I remember I gave a talk to your group 12 years ago, so I'm happy to continue after 12 years. Um, so, I'm sure you have some, uh, some souvenir of French politics. In 2017, a young president, Macron, was elected as a president with absolutely no um, parliamentary party, incumbent parliamentary party supporting him. One month after, in June in 2017, there were parliamentary elections where Macron newly created party Win, uh, won an absolute majority of seats. With, within this group, 90% of new MPs willing to do politics in another way. And um, well, fresh within, within politics. And not, not all of them, but most, most of them. And I, I, generally, um, the rate of new MPs was, was of 75%. And they, continue, they started to do um, legislative politics, to adopt bills, etc. After six months, there was this ranking published in a French newspaper, Capital, that was um, ranking uh, all the 577 députés, members of the national assemblies, according to four criteria. Uh, the proposed amendments weighted by two, the attendance to committees, the number of speeches within committees, and the um, number of speeches on the floor. And through that, you can see how they gave points to MPs and they ranked them from the first one to the, to the last one. Well, this created a kind of a small uh, affair as you can see from this newspaper in, in, in uh, Le Monde, because some MP felt it was uh, unfair, that it was a misrepresentation uh, of their actual work. It should all, all also be said that so far, the MP from the majority had a strong discipline in their behavior and deciding to table amendments or private member bills, etc., cetera, uh, which could, um, partly explain why some of them were not well ranked, as you can see by the fact that they are underrepresented among the first with the Macron party that, was, that is called LREM. Then some MPs and journalists say that there was a reaction to this ranking of December with more activity from, from, from the MPs and possibly more activities uh, related to the criteria that was taken into account by uh, Capital. So with my uh, colleagues from uh, Economy, we wanted to check that. Uh, is there, is there, was there a consequence on actual behavior? And possibly we can imagine three kinds of effects. One links to accountability with the fact that the reputation of MPs vis-a-vis -vis their voters is important. You know? In the, system, in the French system using the plurality voting system. And we know that references either to this ranking or to monitoring websites such as uh, No Député was, was done um, locally, positively or negatively. There can be also a feedback effect in the sense that these all these new MPs can uh, in a way learn what their performance are through this, through this ranking and adjust their, their um, behavior to, to, to this new information. And lastly, there is obviously a peers effect or reputation effect with the fact that uh, MPs um, want to be uh, well, well perceived by their colleagues and for the majority wants also uh, well perceived by party gatekeepers, by uh, President Macron or the Prime Minister who can name them uh, ministers. 
The question is easy. Yeah. Is there an effect? The, the method is, is, is complicated because we are dealing with very uh, huge methodological challenges, as you can expect. The fact that there are differences in costs between parliamentary activities, the fact that some activities are limited legally or by nature, some are controlled by the WIPs. Some activities, as for the budget, are cyclical. Some are um, ignored by uh, the quantification, by the monitoring web website. Last but not least, challenges. We are talking about a ranking and therefore of about interactive um, reaction. Imagine that the, the, the worst ranked can react to the ranking by, by working more, by attending more to the, to the meetings of the parliament. But if the best ranked do, all, do the same as well in the same proportion, then the ranking will remain unchanged. So we have in mind these um, challenges. And um, well, consequently, we developed a kind of um, pilot surveys with several uh, ways of addressing this issue. The first one is, and the easiest one is to look at the ranking after three months. Uh, this is done in this, in this graph, so it's a bit counterintuitive, but the best rank MPs are on the right of the horizontal axe. Number one is um, the, the one who is the most on, on the right. And the last, the worst rank is, is, is on the left. And we see that if we look at their new ranked position that we calculate, that was not published, but that we calculate after three months, there is indeed a negative correlation, which is logical because uh, the worst ranked could also remain the same or improve their situation. Uh, and, and, the, and, the, and the best rank could, could only either remain or, or, or lower their, their position. So this is, this is logical and we cannot say through this graph that there is an effect, uh, especially linked to the capital ranking. By the way, I'll, other thing I'll show you is after three months, we did the same calculation after six months and it does not change any, any of the results. So instead of looking at the ranking, we looked at each kind of behavior that can be quantified, uh, either behavior that has been used within this capital ranking here in red or other kind of, of behavior here in, 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 in black. And we see a negative uh, correlation, meaning that the worst ranked have improved, have, have, have acted more for three kinds of activity, attendance and uh, signature of uh, amendments. But attendance to the parliament or attendance to the to the um, committees, just to the committees. But we don't see any clear trend regarding other kinds of behavior, um, including these that were taken into account by capital. So from, from this first descriptive result, we cannot say that there was um, a capital effect. So it gives something, for example, to for committee attendance, it gives a result like that against, again, the one at the, at the right of the axis are the best ranked one. And you see that there is an, an increase in committee attendance of the worst ranked, ranked MPs, but it's rather, um, well, but it's not the case for all kinds of, uh, of activity. Well, this is not fully satisfactory, and we try to imagine three possible strategies to go further that I will uh, shortly present. First one, focusing on backbenches only. Second one, simulation with placebo ranking. And third one, using lags in data updates, as I will explain. So we know there, are, there is a cycli cyclicality in parliamentary activities, and uh, MPs do not do the same in uh, November and December, then in January, February, MP who drafted, uh, majority MPs who drafted legislative report uh, during the first six months probably won't be those who have the chance to have a report during the next six months. So to, to, to put aside this noise, 
we 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 controlled for the uh, top position and for the rapporteur uh, within the assembly and the control line is in blue here it gives the results for the um, attendance to the parliament which is a proxy um, because um, we don't have the exact uh, data but uh, we can have an idea of the attendance to other other elements if we take the first um, half of the rank uh, well there is no clear effect of the uh, ranking in terms of attendance after three months you see from 2050 to 550 the the curve is is, is flat or is is, is um is um does not show a clear trend. If we if we take the first half of the ranking, then the result is clearer for uh, including when we control for for this uh, for this uh, position. And let's think that uh, indeed uh, among this this half in the in the ranking of the of the worst rank MPs, there have been. Um, um, willingness to be to be more to be more to attend more assembly uh, meetings again we cannot be sure that this is due to 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 the capital ranking that's why we use this second strategy which is a placebo we have in our data set 12 possible behavioral data that are that we trust about parliaments questions, private member bills, uh, reports, uh, etc. If we play with this 12 sets of data, theoretically we can uh, develop uh, 495 possible rankings. We looked at how the rankings uh, changed after three months, activity by activity. And here in red, activity by activity, you have this, the slot of the linear relation for the capital ranking, for the one that exists. And you see it's always negative. Sometimes it's very negative. Sometimes it's just a bit negative, meaning that the worstly ranked have, have, have worked more in such or such behavior after, after three months. If we look at all other possible kinds of, of, of rankings as a, as, a, as a linear relation for them, it's never as negative as it is then for the capital ranking, which is a sign, we cannot be 100% sure, but this is a strong sign that MPs reacted specifically, specifically to, this, to these rankings rather than other possible. Last, uh, last, um, last method we use, it's a bit complex, the fact that when the journalist did the rankings, he, there was some um, data he had not registered because they were not uh, available at the time of the, of the, of the, of the paper that arrived uh, days or weeks after. So there is, in a way, a gap between the ranking as it was published and the true rankings using the capital criteria. Uh, you, see, you see my point. And you see the gap here with the, with the circle, who are, uh, each circle is a single MP, who can deviate from, from the red axe. Then the question we ask is whether the under-ranked MPs in this capital ranking, or the, uh, the over-ranked MPs in this capital ranking, reacted differently than their colleagues and the response and the answer sorry is is rather positive so here you can see the green points uh, that are each time an mp uh, on the left it's an under ranked mp so an mp that has been less well ranked by capital than what he could pretend to 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 have as a as a, as a rank and these under ranked mps tended all things being equal to make more efforts than their uh, colleagues, uh, which would be again a sign that there is a specific reaction to this uh, precise uh, uh, 
um, press ranking. So to conclude, we have shown you that despite the huge, huge methodological challenge, there is a strong uh, suspicion that indeed MPs uh, react strategically, which in the end would not be a major surprise considering the rational approach literature. Yet, we still uh, need to keep in mind that we had a very specific situation with a lot of fresh men and women, a lot of newcomers in, in the parliament, but also in politics. And it's hard to say if it was a ranking effect or just a learning uh, effect in this learning period, or if it was a combination of, of, of both, and if a uh, rank that would be published now, for instance, would have the same, uh, the same consequences, and I suspect it would not. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.